Coming up is a 10 minute full body strength workout. This is perfect for the boss babe on the go who wants to level up her strength game without spending hours at the gym. So if you're short on time, this workout is perfect for you. All you need is a set of dumbbells and you can do this in your busy schedule, whether you're working from home, crushing it at the office or juggling your multiple side hustles. Don't forget, I also have a free ultimate fat loss guide in the description below. If you were on a fitness journey wanting to reach that next level, I provide 21 proven strategies to help you lose stubborn body fat. So make sure to grab that at the end after your workout. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, let's get started with a very quick warm up. Let's bring those feet nice and wide. One big deep breath, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. Let's go into a prisoner squat with an oblique crunch or twist, just alternating. Now in this quick 10 minute workout, we have eight exercises. The 10 minutes is gonna include your one minute warm up and a one minute cool down. All you need is a set of dumbbells. So we're gonna be tackling the entire body in this workout. No muscle is gonna be untouched, all right? Let's go ahead, do two more of this, and then we're gonna go straight into our first exercise, which is gonna be squat thrusters, okay? So let's go ahead and grab moderate set, a moderate set of dumbbells. We're gonna go feet shoulder distance apart, dumbbells right at the shoulders, palms facing in, drop it down, press it up, repeat. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. So we got 10 minutes. We gotta make the most of it. So every move, you just do one round. So try your best to do each move in the best form with the most challenging weight that you can do safely. Keep that core nice and tight. Biceps come right next to the ear, squeeze the core. Drop it down low, sink into those hips. You got 10 seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. Next up, RDL to low row. Feet shoulder distance, soft knees. Hinge from those hips, low row. Come back to the RDL, stand up. Three, two, one, let's go. Hinge, squeeze your back, come back. Stand up. Think about driving those dumbbells towards the ribs. Shoulder blades come together. Eyes look down at the bottom of your RDL. We should feel tension in our hamstrings and our booty. Our core is engaged. Our back is firing. Keep your spine nice and tall. No rounding, please. Couple more seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. All right, next up, reverse lunge to a hammer curl. So step it back, drop it down. Hammer curl when you stand up, palms facing in, and then repeat on the other side. Three, two, one, let's go. Down. Stand up, curl. Elbows are nice and tight to the ribs. Your feet are about shoulder distance apart, finding your balance. So try not to be on a tight rope. You'll notice that your heart rate's up a little bit more when we combine both upper and lower body moves together. That's how we can get more done in less time. Let's go one more and rest. Good. Next up, we have L raises. So if you do have a lighter set, go ahead, grab it. We're gonna go palms facing in, create an L shape, dumbbells come to shoulder height, and then switch. Three, two, one. Let's go, bring it up, slowly bring it down. Stay in control. Try to keep the shoulders away from your neck. And then a soft bend in your elbows the entire time. So never lock out those joints. Good. Now pay attention to your entire body, okay? 
Keep those knees soft too. Keep the core tight. Getting into our shoulders here. Try to slow down, resist gravity on the way down. You have three, two, one, and rest. Good. Next, we're gonna go into a wide squat with an upright row. So, feet are nice and wide, heels in, toes out. You're gonna come down into that wide squat, upright row, elbows come high and wide. Three, two, one. Let's go, drop it down, squeeze the inner thighs, pull up, elbows higher than the wrists. No bending of the wrists, keep them neutral. Make sure that those knees are tracking in line with your toes. Heels are heavy and heels are down. Sometimes I see the heels come up in squats and I'm like, no, don't do that. Got 10 seconds here. Three, two, one, and rest. Head down to the floor. We're gonna go into a chest press with bicycle legs. So, chest press, it goes down and up. The legs are gonna be going bicycle each time. Three, two, one, let's go. So, sync your movements together. So we're tackling core and chest all at the same time. Keep a firm grip on your weights. If you're like, this is too much for me, you are more than welcome to just drop the feet and just focus on the chest press. That's okay. But I like to kind of combine things, make them harder because why not? Love a good ab move. Sneaking it in there. Always. <laughs> Almost there. You have three, two, one, and rest. Come on to your hands and knees. We're gonna go into an alternating dumbbell plank reach. So one dumbbell, feet are nice and wide. You're gonna reach that dumbbell up, and then you're gonna switch arms. Time starts now. You can swivel on your feet. Notice I'm on the sides of my shoes as I rotate and I lift. Your option here is you can take the weight out and just go body weight or drop down to the knees and one foot lifts off, or one knee rather, and then keep one knee down. Eyes gaze up to the sky as you press that dumbbell up. One more, three, two, one, and rest. And your final move is gonna be a lat pullover to a sit up. So one dumbbell in hand, bring it behind the head, then bring it to the chest, roll on up, sit on up. Okay, three. Two, one, let's go. Bring it on down, lat pullover, crunch up. If a sit up is unavailable for you today, just go ahead, do a crunch, just lifting the shoulder blades off the floor. When you do the lat pullover, small bend in the elbows. You can use the momentum of the dumbbell, dumbbell swinging forward to get your upper body up. Couple more seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. Now look at that, 10 minutes, we're done. I hope you're feeling amazing. Let's go ahead and cool it down, bring those feet nice and wide, drop the head down, stretch out the hamstrings and release the low back. Shoulders and head just melt down towards the floor. Nice job. When you're ready, bend into those knees, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Good, reach one hand up and over. Congratulate yourself, you got 10 minutes in. If you have more time, feel free to repeat this workout over again. 
do another round. There's no harm in doing that. But just remind yourself, if I got no time, if I'm super busy, I got this 10 minute workout that I can do and I can fit something in no matter how busy I get. I know I can carve out 10 minutes out of my day, right? Chin to chest, remind yourself of that. Inhale, hands up and bring it down. Awesome job, my friend. If you enjoyed this workout, please go ahead, like this video, comment down below and let me know maybe what your favorite exercise was. If you want another workout to do, you can check out this workout here and feel free to grab my free ultimate fat loss guide, which is in the description below. I give you 21 proven strategies to help you lose stubborn body fat. So definitely check that out. And as always, claim your crown.